Inside Tonight with Jamie Ball starts now. Remembering Anton Walks. Such a vibrant guy. He cared for, about the team. He cared about the community. The Charlotte FC player was killed in a boating accident not far from where the team was training to get ready for the new season. There's a little bit of solace knowing that we can all band together and support one another in such an awful time. Family, friends, teammates, and fans gathering at Bank of America Stadium today with one goal. To honor Walks' life and his impact on Major League Soccer. More on that coming up. Also tonight, a scary and unplanned delivery. A mail carrier robbed at gunpoint in South Charlotte. We are getting a broader look at that problem. Jury selection, that continues. The double murder trial of Alec Murdoch. See him here heading into the courthouse. Jurors being narrowed down so the prosecution and defense can begin interviews tomorrow. And think of every step that you take as a small win. A new study finds a short time walking can undo an hour of sitting. We have a lot to cover for you tonight. Good evening and welcome to On Your Side tonight. We always appreciate you being here. I'm Jamie Bull. Also with us tonight, Alex Giles. He is going to get you caught up on the biggest stories of the day in just a couple of minutes. We're going to start, though, with meteorologist Rachel Coulter in the First Alert Weather Center because some big changes are coming in about the next 12 hours or so. This system on our Futurecast radar is going to bring rain and the potential for some severe weather for some of us. So that's why tomorrow is a First Alert Weather Day. Uh, Rachel, time this out for us. The morning commute could be a bit messy. That's right. From about 5, 6 o'clock for some of our western counties until the afternoon hours, we're going to see rain, some storms, maybe even a little winter mix in the mountains move through from west to east. We have about a 100% chance of rain in the forecast, especially for the mid-morning hours and through the lunch hour. I think that's when the coverage is going to be the most impressive. So first a little weather day in place for tomorrow, but there's a few impacts that we're watching. Rain, main concern, we're going to see up to about an inch of rainfall across the area. Some locally higher totals possible. Strong storms, severe storms possible, especially in our southeasternmost counties, damaging wind gusts and isolated tornado threat if we can get those storms to get going. It's a conditional threat, but it's there. Uh, those would be our main concerns. Otherwise, even outside of the storm chances, it's going to be another windy day. You can see wind gusts exceeding 30 miles per hour at times. Very calm out there right now, though. We continue to see clouds increase from west to east as we continue into the evening hours, down to the 30s in the mountains, 40s for the rest of us. But of course, this changes mm -hmm. big range of temperatures on the way tomorrow. Updated look at your hour by hour forecast coming up, Jamie. We'll see you in a few minutes, Rachel. Thank you. We're on your side tonight now with a celebration of life. The Charlotte FC community said their final goodbyes to defender Anton Walks today. The 25-year-old died last week in a boating crash in Florida where the team had been training for the start of a new season. Our Cam Gaskins is live tonight outside of Bank of America Stadium where that service was held today. And Cam, up pretty clear, this is a young man who's going to be missed. That's absolutely right, Jamie. It was very clear today that Walks will be missed both for who he was as a player on this team, but also, more importantly, for what he meant to this community beyond what he did on the field. This man had the most uplifting eyes I have ever seen in my life. Full of joy, full of happiness, full of life. Through many tears and smiles, Tuesday afternoon, the Charlotte FC family said goodbye to Anton Walks. He lit up every room he was in. He was so selfless and so respected and loved by all of us and his loved ones. Those that knew him remembered the incredible person, but also the talent and passion he showed on the field. Wearing the captain's armband at two different clubs within less than 12 months is a true testament to what Anton embodied and the belief felt in him by his teammates and staff. And hundreds of club supporters were also on hand to celebrate not a game, but a life cut short. Charlotte FC is a family, and... Um we knew we had to come to pay our respects to a very humble player. The connection between the club and the community was apparent after just one season, and it showed today by the way that community showed up to pay their respects. He's done a lot for the community everywhere he's been, so just it feels I feel honored to be able to participate and honor him. With the season right around the corner, the supporters hope Anton's spirit will live on when the team plays at Bank of America Stadium next month. I hope his kindness and, and passion and his passion for the game just lives on in all the players and all of us for, you know, for the remainder for Charlotte FC. From what we heard today, the memory left behind by Walks will certainly live on, both on and off the field. The strength, the extra strength that we will have this season, without a doubt, will come from Anton.
So just a lot of emotion there from the team and the supporters. Now, Charlotte FC opens up its second season in just a couple of weeks, and we're expecting some sort of tribute from the team and the players as they take the field for the first time without Anton Walks next month on February 25th. Reporting live at Bank of America Stadium, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV, on your side. Seeing all those players in his jersey today, uh, that was something. Uh, Cam, thank you. Our crews also captured this touching video of Walks' girlfriend and daughter. After the celebration of life service, they stopped by the memorial for walks that is set up outside of Bank of America Stadium. Our coverage continues tonight with sports anchor Nate Wimberly. He's here in studio. And Nate, Walks was just a rising star for Charlotte FC. Yeah, Walks uh, MLS journey started in, in Atlanta in 2017 and he arrived in Charlotte via the expansion draft in December of 2021. He instantly became a fan favorite among Charlotte FC supporters and his teammates. Walks didn't play for most of the first half of last season but after the coaching change to Christian Latanzio, he became a staple in the starting lineup. He played in 23 games with 21 starts and was key in the defense of the crown as they missed the playoffs by just six points. But more than what he did on the pitch, Walks was the perfect fit for a first-year team that was going to go through a lot of ups and downs. He had the personality this squad needed. And so I love joking around, not taking life too seriously. He enjoyed the little things, the banter before warm up and training, the bus rides that we dread. Every single day just talking smack about players who had just sucked in training. He was a guy on the team everyone looked up to. Always trying to help people and demanding their absolute best. With Anton, you never had a bad day. The same trustworthiness he had as a friend, he had as a teammate. Never backed down from a challenge. A true fighter. Walks was a perfect fit for what Charlotte needed in year one. He left quite a legacy, and Coach Latanzio said today, he will continue to be with us. We will carry on his legacy. Uh, it's a big job trying to pull this team together again in a very short period of time. Uh, Nate, thank you. Uh, if you'd like to watch the entire Celebration of Life service, you can find it on our website. Just head to WBTV.com. All right, now to 7 at 7. Alex Giles joins us now with seven of the biggest stories of the day to get you caught up. What else is going on, Alex? Uh, Jamie, a crime alert here. And this isn't a story you hear about all the time, but it is something we wanted to bring you here. We've learned a mail carrier was robbed at gunpoint in South Charlotte, and this is the second time a mail carrier has been targeted in recent months. The most recent robbery happened on Candlewood Drive last Thursday. Police say the mail carrier was delivering the mail when he was robbed of his phone and his arrow key. That's the key that can access cluster boxes across the city. Get this, there's now a $50,000 reward being offered for information leading to an arrest. Also new tonight, we're seeing released, newly released body camera video from a deadly officer involved shooting in Charlotte. Now this happened back in August. We're just now getting the video though. CMPD officers were serving an involuntary commitment order on a woman. Her name was Brenda Donahue. When officers arrived at her home, they went inside. In the home, a door opened and a shot was fired. It's the police, man. Can you open up the door? Okay, well, I, I have paperwork that's... You hear the audio there. The bullet hit an officer's body-worn camera. It got lodged in the camera, so the officer was protected. Now, in return, officers ended up taking cover, and they fired back at Donahue. She was hit and killed. The North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation looked into this and has turned it over to the DA for final review. Okay, up in Burke County, we have an update on an animal cruelty investigation. We told you yesterday, Burke County Animal Services and Animal Enforcement seized 88 animals from a farm in Morganton. We reached out to county leaders, and today we learned all of those animals are improving. So good news there. Okay, all good things must come to an end. After weeks of drops, gas prices are now on the way back up. Within the last month, prices have been steadily rising, and experts think that they're going to get even higher. Patrick DeHaan with Gas Buddy said prices spiked for a few different reasons. December's Arctic blast caused problems for refineries all the way down to Texas. China also reopened its economy and issued some heavy import quotas. And finally, there's less oil flowing into the market. Who's got the power? We got the power. What kind of power? Union power. Heard it there.
flight attendants from American Airlines calling for better working conditions. This is the protest that happened outside Charlotte Douglas today. Union leaders with the Association of Professional Flight Attendants say they have been working without a new contract since 2019. We will finish with this today. It's one of the nation's only mobile health care units that is dedicated to women's health. Atrium is trying to provide women's health care to underserved communities. They call this new project the Drive to Thrive Initiative. All services on that bus are free. It will officially roll out to West Charlotte and North Charlotte starting tomorrow. You shouldn't be able to miss it if it's on the road, oh, Jamie. I guess not. Uh, massively important, too, that Absolutely. The, the work that they're doing inside mm -hmm. of that bus. Uh, Alex, thank you. Yes, sir. Coming up next here on On Your Side Tonight. A feast fit for the Queen City. Charlotte Restaurant Week is underway. Your local favorites are hoping your business will help their bottom line.